just brief you on the, the current situation and, um, and then tell you a little bit about uh, what we're doing uh, at the moment. The first point is that we're tracking the remains of the 5 to 10 tonnes of oil that was released overnight on Saturday. Uh, there have been no significant releases of oil since then. The remains of that oil release on Saturday night are expected to remain in the area of the arena. It's quite broken up and drifting around and generally heading north uh, and small amounts of it could reach Mare Island and potentially the Coromandel Peninsula from Pongamata south around about the weekend. It's important to note though that this trajectory modelling that we're using is indicative only. It's based on current weather, tide conditions and they're changing all the time. We're, so we're continuing to model and remodel the, the, uh, the movement of that oil. We're also tracking the oil through aerial observation and on water observation to make sure that we know exactly where it is actually going. It's important to recognise that the estimated amount of 350 tonnes that spilled originally and impacted the Tower and Papamo beaches is uh, significantly more than this amount. We're talking about a relatively small amount of oil that may reach Mare Island and may reach the Coromandel Peninsula. If the oil does reach the shoreline, it will have been in the water for about five or six days. So it will be broken down and broken up. And what we would expect to see there, if it does reach those areas, are small patties and, and small tar balls. What are we doing currently? Well, we uh, are currently planning for the potential oil impact on those areas that I mentioned, the Coromandel and Mare Island. We've deployed teams in both areas to do shoreline assessments and to identify potential operating bases. And they're out there doing that right now. We've also deployed a team as of yesterday to Mare Island where together with Iwi they're assessing the likely impact of wildlife. We have a number of trained volunteers in Coromandel that are available uh, to us if we require. And we've also had an offer from Newmont Waihee Gold, they run the, uh, the mine in Waihee, for 200 staff if we require them for beach cleanup. And we have trained supervisors to lead them should the need uh, arise. And of course, we have ongoing meetings with Iwi and regional council staff to keep them updated on progress today. Thank you.